from time immemorial almost all the seniors gurus saints maharishis of kept on saying one thing that your body is your strength that's where the karma yoga came keep doing work with your expecting results means look into your strength and uh, you do not have to expect anything in return because nobody can return that kind of power you have such was your beauty and your happiness of expression that every drop last talent has been removed from the body on a daily basis and you sweat it or when sweat comes do not on the fan the moment you on the fan you are become a dead log the more you sweat the more you are healthy power hence ramana maharshi came and said ask who am i the smallest to think of what ramana maharshi has said long back from the rigveda time 90000 years back or 5000 years back or 2000 years back of the christian era buddha era 2500 or 1600 years back of the islam era everybody kept telling yes ask who am i in your strength be a karma yogi whether you keep calling god or you see anything everything is god <laughs> that strength is so powerful karma yoga says keep doing work that expecting results means how could a child expect the result after the school examination you have made the child a nobody you have made the child i forget about nobody of course everybody has to become a nobody to understand himself so let us forget about the nobody they have made them a slave a somebody the schools and universities have made them a somebody not i body <laughs> I went to the reception and asked Ramya was in the reception. I asked nobody is here and Ramya said nobody I said you buddy <laughs> They forget their body they are standing there and said no, no body is there your body Karma yoga keep doing work with your expecting results the results is what made a man a slave they gave you a progress report kept on giving examinations examinations on a question what they have declared an answer not according to your circumstances they have never given you a practical time to breathe and they expect your result they are looking for parrots and you have become a parrot hence in the christian era jesus christ was forced to say knock on the door shall be open knock your your talent yes knock it and this vast amount of power gold reserves diamond reserves you do not have to dig the earth below to attack somebody on the diamond yes. say say alone and poor this is the tenth story from the gateless gate from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps a monk named say say asked of so zen say say is alone and poor will you give him support so zen asked say 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 responded yes sir so zen said you have zen the best wine in china and already have finished three cups and still you are saying that they did not even wet your lips the problems with everybody is i walk on the street of indranagar near to the binamgla slum area and they see, see me and say guruji what guruji i am not seeing you i because i am now staying in devanali ashram i go three times to indranagar we are not seeing you you are not giving us anything i was shocked for the last 40 years in indranagar every month i kept on giving them rations clothes medical items furnitures 
collected furniture, sold clothes, refrigerators, washing machines, and they whenever they say, you are not giving me anything. <laughs> People <coughs> go to the doctor telling him, I'm sick without cleaning up the house, without cleaning up the internal parts, without fasting, keeping all the beds and pillows and the house outside like the empty earth. Every breakfast, like three times, three times they clean up. Three times you have to clean your house. You cannot even sleep on the same pillow, on the same bed. Every day you have to put it in the sunlight. Cleanliness next to Godly, a bong name, say, say, ask to so say, alone and poor. <laughs> Nobody is alone. You are alone and poor because you have the borrowed knowledge they, which they made you a slave. Now you have to drop it. For God's sake, drop it and look into you. And poor, nobody is poor, everybody is pure, P U R E pure, Parishuddha Atmakul. Nobody is poor. The moment the poor comes means a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream. You are started the first. When I say I am poor and badora, but the moment you say I am badora, I am poor, that first pint of shit has entered. Yes. You are talking when somebody shouts at you, when your wife is angry with you, you must understand that she was not angry. Somebody must have put poison into her mind. A pint of shit in her mind. When the husband shouts at you, you must understand that somebody has put a poison into the husband's mind, a dirt has entered into the husband's mind. A pint of shit. It is not your problem. He has to clean up, otherwise it becomes so dangerous, he becomes sick. <laughs>